If you're thinking about selling your house, it pays to know your target audience and do some intel. This is a video that is the first in a series to help you as a house seller better understand your target audience, the buyer. Today's video is Real Estate Trends 2020 Millennial Buyers. In this video, I'm going to give you three important things to know about millennial buyers so you can do this and this. Hey, I also have a free downloadable seller's guide that is jam packed full of awesome information when it is time to sell your house. I'd love to have you download it. The link for it is down below in the description box. Hi there, my name is Emily Farber and I'm a realtor with Lepi Craiger Realtors in Iowa City, Iowa. I love to help buyers and sellers on their real estate journey and in order to do so, I put out videos just like this one every single Friday. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that red button down below and pro tip, ring the bell, that way you'll be notified every time I put out a new video and you won't miss a thing. Today's video, Real Estate Trends 2020 Millennial Buyers, is designed to help you as a seller better understand your potential buyers. Much of the information I'm going to share with you in this video comes from the National Association of Realtors 2019 Home Buyer and Sellers Generational Trends Report. This is a massive study done by the National Association of Realtors to help us understand the whys, hows, and whos of this thing we call real estate. Millennials, the people born between 1980 and 1998, make up the largest population of home buyers. They currently account for about 37% of all home purchases. So if you have a home for sale, chances are highly likely that you will have millennial buyers considering your house. Factoid number one, despite what the media likes to portray, millennials are very interested in home ownership. The difference between millennials and previous generations, however, is some of the financial pressures that millennials have faced have caused them to delay major life events like purchasing a home. Some financial pressures include things like student loan debt, credit card debt, and wages that are not increasing at the same rate as the cost of living. As a result, many millennials have had to put off purchasing their first home. Because they have put off purchasing that first home, their tastes have grown. Millennials are heavily influenced by things like HGTV and social media influences. Instagram, I'm looking at you. So what a millennial is looking for in a home may be of a higher caliber than what other first time home buyers may have considered acceptable. In fact, a third of all millennial buyers have waited and saved for so long that they aren't even really considering a, a starter home. If we think of a starter home as generally priced between like 150 and 250,000, a third of these millennial buyers are popping all the way up to over 300,000 for their first home purchase. The millennials don't tend to want the McMansions that many baby boomers are now trying to offload as they look to downsize. Those millennials are not interested in the dated interiors of those homes, nor are they interested in the ornate opulence of them. What millennials do tend to like are slightly smaller homes, open spaces, and clean lines. Did you know that previously owned homes make up about 86% of all home sales? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the reasons why a millennial buyer may be considering a previously owned home instead of new construction. First off, they're interested in the better price. Second, they're interested in overall greater value. And third, they're looking for charm and character that you often can't find in new construction homes. As a seller, I think there's some important nuggets of information to distill out of this. Specifically, your pricing strategy and any improvements you may choose to make to your home in order to have it better appeal to potential buyers. Millennials are specifically looking for environmentally friendly home features, things like windows, doors, and siding. 
another important factor for millennials are commuting costs. Fact number three, millennials are heavily influenced by technology, the internet, and social media. Millennials rely on the internet for extensive research. Did you know that on average, a buyer will spend 10 weeks searching for their next home? And of those 10 weeks, the first three weeks, they are searching solo. They haven't even contacted a real estate agent. How do you think they're doing that research without a real estate agent taking them through properties? Mm -hmm. They're staring at the same thing you are right now, their phone or their computer. As a home seller, having a top-notch digital campaign is vital, like so important. Without it, you're like a peacock without a tail. Who's gonna bother to look at you or your house if you don't have that flashy display to catch people's eyes? 87% of all home purchases end up happening through a real estate agent. So you want your online marketing presence to be so beautiful and so catchy that you're pulling in all of those active buyers working with real estate agents, as well as the unrepresented buyers are going to be so enamored with your home that it will give them the final little kick in the rear to contact that real estate agent who will then get them into your property. Here's some questions to ask yourself in regards to this. Does your real estate agent make good use of social media? Does your real estate agent have a number of really great reviews? Remember, millennial buyers, along with many other age groups of buyers, really rely on online reviews before making a decision. The reason you should care about your agent's online reviews, not only for your own research and choosing that agent to represent you, but for those unrepresented buyers, you want them to feel comfortable enough to call up your agent and make inquiries. Because we know millennial buyers rely so heavily on the internet, social media, and online reviews, it is terribly important for your real estate agent to have a curated online and social media presence in order to draw those people in and get them looking at your property. Hey, thanks so much for joining me on today's video, Real Estate Trends 2020 Millennial Buyers. I hope you have found this information to be helpful and give you some guidance in helping you better understand a very likely buyer for your home when you put it on the market. Don't forget to download my free guide, Home Seller Tips. It's The link for that is down there in the description box. It's been fun. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll catch you later.